Okay, well, hello, friends and followers and amateur radio and electronics aficionados and general viewers of my channel. Well, as you know, I'm always experimenting with something. So I was listening to a conversation today with uh, K7IXT, he's an, or KA7IXT, he's an operator up in uh, Washington, and he was mentioning a pan adapter on his Kenwood. So I thought, a pan adapter? I looked up, I looked up what is a pan adapter? A pan adapter means on amateur radio anyway, a panoramic adapter. And I guess that means is you can see a panorama of what's around you on the frequency spectrum. So they were talking about attaching it to a Kenwood. So I thought, well, what if I try to attach this thing to my old Drake here? So here's the Drake TR5 and it has an IF or an intermediate frequency of nine megahertz, meaning that a signal might come into the antenna in the back they mix it with crystals in the front and they get an intermediate frequency and of course with the PTO it will always come out to be 9.0 megahertz and that all is filtered down through here and then they detect it back here so anyway I tune my uh, SDR here and this is a simple uh, RTO SDR that I use for receiving stuff and just really tuning radios but I thought what if I tune this thing to 9.0 megahertz and sure enough I tune it to 9.0 megahertz and I put it on upper sideband and I simply couple it near the uh, mixer here. So this is the uh, the V3 6E8 and it's a um, a final mixer where this stuff is now going to the sideband filters. So I just loop this around. In fact, you can even put the wire a foot away. It works. You'll even have to loop it. So anyway, what's cool is I think I'm seeing the I think I'm seeing the BFO here. And getting a bit of a beat from it and if I am seeing BFO there I can probably go to AM mode and hear sideband let me see anyway I'm receiving sideband on my SDR now which is pretty cool so I can tune this guy here So I'm pulling all that stuff from the IF and I think I got BFO on here. It's mixing in BFO. So if I, or is it? No, it shouldn't be doing that yet. So if I go to AM mode, it should sound like AM. Let's see, poof. So the BFO is gone. Let's see what that is over there. Okay, so now. So now I can hear the BFO the radio is adding. What if I turn off the BFO here? Let's see what that does. If I squeal. Well, <coughs> that's not good. So I'm seeing a carrier there. Not sure why I got that. Unless this thing shifted a bit. Let's see what's down here. Uh, looks like my frequency is a little shifted here. There we go. Well, that's not real helpful, is it? Not sure why I'm getting that either.
Anyway, let's see, can I...
Okay, well, not very interesting, I suppose. Um, it would take some work to make this thing a, a decent pen adapter to look at the whole spectrum. I'm seeing probably a very small bandwidth from the 9 megahertz uh, mixer here. Not seeing very much of it, but it does work. And it doesn't take any work to couple it. You just uh, lay the wire there and it works. So that's pretty cool. First, the seal audio. Yeah, let's go back to Now oh, can I hear him on here? No. That's a bit off. There we go. So I was off the IF. That's why there was nothing corresponding here. Let's see if it'll work now. Yep. Now, what if I go off slightly to get rid of the BFO or whatever that thing is. Let's, let's try and move it off a bit. Uh, come on. Okay, so that's not good. That's that BFO signal, I think. Okay, now I'm way on the band pass here. And I can probably still hear things. Let's see. Let's see how that works. Let's see. Let's see. 